Well, with more of us spending these winter days indoors, infection control specialists are nervous that the newest Omicron variant will continue to spread. A recent Danish study shows vaccinated people do appear to spread this BA2 variant less. It's one and a half times more contagious, however, than the original Omicron strain that already spreads days before you know you even have it. This Danish study, not yet peer reviewed, looked at what are called secondary attack rates. It means if the winter weather, for example, has you stuck inside with someone infected with BA2, how quickly this new variant will attack you. I just start, sort of started having a sore throat. Husband and wife Chris O'Brien and Janine Coyle know what that feels like. Both likely got infected with the original Omicron strain within a few days of each other. Here's the great thing, Liz. Um, they, they told us when we got tested because uh, we live in the same house that we didn't have to wear a mask, we didn't have to isolate, which meant that I could wait on Chris hand and foot. So he really enjoyed that. <laughs> but based on this new Danish study, BA2 may spread even faster than what happened in the O'Brien and Coyle household. They're talking about kind of a tale of Omicron. Researchers found the attack rate of BA2 is substantially higher than BA1 or the original Omicron, 10% higher. 39% was the attack rate for BA2 compared to 29% with the original strain. But hang on, because the second thing they looked at in the study was susceptibility. Here's the important part. It looks like if you've either had Omicron or have been vaccinated, you're very likely to be immune to this uh, new subvariant of Omicron called BA2. Certainly some good news. Five-day isolation still recommended by the CDC, no matter what strain of infection.